Okay, we are getting ready for row 15. We are changing that row to white. We already tied the orange off, so we are going to start a new row with white. We are gonna make that slip knot onto our yarn, but not put it on our hook quite yet. We are gonna find where we want to put that yarn. <clears throat> so put the crochet hook into the work, put the um, slip knot onto the hook. You're gonna pull that loop through the work, but not all the way through, and you're gonna chain one. All right, so generally I would stitch right here, but because I accidentally added a stitch, I think I'm just gonna go to the next one. And that should even out my stitch count. Um, if not, I'm not super worried about it. So actually row 15 and row 16 are us stitching um, one single crochet into every stitch. Um, I held that uh, those tails in my stitches for a little bit. Now I'm just tucking them in. And I'm going to continue on for two rows. So don't forget to... Um, slip stitch your rows together um, and I'll just meet you back at the end of row 16 so that would be my second row of white okay I'm here at the end of row 16 um, this is my second row of white I'm about ready to tie that off here okay so I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna do a single, I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna slip that out because in the next section, we are actually going to put a little bit of details um, for a face and then stuff a little bit. I'm gonna take a break to stuff here. So what we're gonna do, if you have, um, Safety eyes that you want to use, we're going to go ahead and put those in. Other ideas you can use for eyes if you don't want to use safety eyes are um, you can use, you can make an eye with yarn, kind of embroider it, or you can use felt. Um, there's a number of ways you can make eyes. Um, I like this set because it comes in this neat little box, but... I don't like it because the backs do not come in the same box and they come in like this little bags that fall apart and now I don't know where those are at. So I'm going to have to secure these slightly different way than I thought I would. So those look about right. So in the directions it says to go try to put the eyes between the 12th and 13th row. So, if we just finish the 16th row, so this would be 16, 15, 14, 13, and 12. So, I'm actually going to kind of put a stitch marker just in this row so I know where, which row I'm going to put it in. Okay, so then I'm just going to eyeball the center pun very much intended okay so I'm not gonna count because that's not me but um, it says to do it to put like four stitches in between so let's say this is the center I'm gonna go two out over here let's see in this one so you're gonna put that through but don't put the backs on anything yet until you know you like where everything's at so let's see one two three four I'm gonna put my next stitch or my next eyeball right in here okay ah my first one fell out okay I can't tell I um gonna find some backing or a way to close the backs on this and I will be back. Okay. 
got our eyeballs in and now I'm gonna stuff some of it so when I get closer to the end it won't be so hard to stuff it because it's definitely deep enough that we can go ahead and stuff it I kind of try to um, push it out I guess like swirl it around and push it out just a little bit so it doesn't um, so it kind of feels a little more cohesive I don't I don't know how else to explain it So, eyeballs and stuffing, and then we'll get going back on the crocheting. So, this is round 17, and we are going to decrease in this round. Um, the pattern or sequence on this one is we are going to do two single crochets and then a decrease. Um... Okay, so I got my first one here, and it's gonna feel a little different, like crocheting onto something big, but um, I think you'll get used to it, and sometimes it almost feels better, I don't know. I just did a decrease, so we are going to do two, one, two, and then a decrease. One, two, and a decrease. One, two, here we're gonna decrease yeah I am still one off and I'm okay with it okay so we're gonna close up that round okay I'm gonna chain one okay for rows 18 and 19 we are just doing one single crochet into each stitch here if I can get the things to work here we go I will meet you at the end of row 19 so you're gonna do two rows of just um, no decreases. Okay, we're finishing up row 19 and row 20 will be another decreasing round. And it should look somewhat like this, almost like a balloon. Yeah, inflate. Okay, so row 20, we're decreasing, and the pattern, the sequence is going to be one single crochet, decrease, one, decrease, one, decrease. So, that is what we're going to be doing here. So, one, and decrease. I realize I didn't put my stitch marker in. Hopefully, we'll be okay here. One decrease I'm going to do one and a decrease and did 
I do two decreases in a row? Let me check. I did. Okay. See? We all make mistakes here. So, I actually did two decreases in a row. So, I'm, And sometimes if you're not sure, you just go all the way back to figure it out. Maybe it's because I wasn't saying it out loud. So I'm decreasing now. And then I am hmm, not going to have room to decrease that one. I am going to slip stitch here. Okay, perfect. Okay. So the next round <clears throat> is actually... Um, just slip stitching around evenly. I'm going to add a little bit more stuffing and try to shape it a little bit more. Um, it, this pattern reminds you to do it after row 21, I think, but I'm, we're, we're losing space here, so we're going to try and get it as much as we can okay. and we will can kind of play with your shape if you need to if you really want to shape it you can kind of even stick your crochet hook in there if you need to all right Hopefully that is enough and I'll be able to squish it all around when I'm finished. I think um, the next row, we're just going straight around. All right, we have two more rows left. So the row 21, around 21, is just straight up. We are just doing one single crochet all the way around. So it looks different when you have a big animal here and you're crocheting. Well, it's not really animal, it's a candy, but. Okay, so I'm going to slip stitch this and then row 22, um, and if there's, I might just stick a tad bit more stuffing in there before row 22. Um, row 22 is the last round and um, we're going to close off the whole thing so we're the next row we're going to decrease we're only going to do decreases we're not going to do any regular single crochets we're only going to do decreases and then we're going to leave a long enough tail to kind of cinch um the hole that is left so just so you're aware of what we are what we are going to do. So we are going to decrease and decrease. And I forgot to put my stitch marker in, I'm sorry. That can be confusing. Uh, We are continuing to do our invisible decreases and it does get a little more difficult um, going around the small of a circle. It gets a little harder to see but as you can tell like it's kind of you can kind of tell there's a stacking um, 
So I think this is my last one here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna slip stitch into this and it, it does it's kind of difficult, but you can do it, I believe in you. Alright, I slip stitched into there. I'm gonna chain one, tighten it. I'm gonna leave a decently long tail because I am going to um we're gonna kind of do a drawstring type thing. Okay, so our corn person needs a face. So I like to put a smile on. I will show you how to do that. We are gonna need to thread the needle. Um, this is like really dark gray, but it's, it's like close enough to black that I'm okay with it. Um, you can use embroidery th floss for this if you want. I'm using yarn because it's scrap and want to use it up. Um, embroidery th floss can look a little thin, so you might want to double it up. Um, but so a lot of people like embroidery th floss for the lashes because it does, it just looks a little bit better. Um, smile. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down like maybe two rows from, from, where did I go on this one? Yep. So two rows down under the eye. I don't, you can play around with this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which, where I want the smile to start. And I'm going to actually put my needle in off to the side. I know this is weird, but so I'm going to put the needle off to the side and then I'm going to root around until I find that spot that I want it to come through. So I'm going to come through and I'm going to leave a tail. Excuse the dog hair. I have a dog here. Okay. So it looks like a whisker. That's going to be gone. So then we're going to find the same spot on, under this eye. So I'm going to put it here. But maybe here. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. There's six stitches here, so in between, so one row down and in between um, the middle. We're going to cut the middle here. We are going to pop that, uh, sorry, we're going to make that, the needle come out uh, one row below and kind of in the middle here. And you want this um, yarn to be on the top. So if you haven't done embroidery before, this is basically, we're, we're doing embroidery here. Uh, so from here, you want that this smile here. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this, uh, put in the same exact hole that you just came out of. And then we're going to try and do something really crazy and come out of the exact same hole without grabbing any crazy yarn over here. So when you pull this tight, you should have a smile. Yay. Okay. So we have a smile here. Now what are we going to do with this? I'm glad you asked. Okay. So I'm going to tie a knot. Here, and then I'm going to get it tight. I'm going to cut the strings, not super short, but pretty short. And then I'm going to take my darning needle and I, or whatever I can to push it in. I might try with this. Gonna gently push that in. Be careful with your crochet hook because then you can just actually pull up the thing. So then I just pushed that in there. Is it possible it can get pulled out? Yes, but um, like I said, we're trying to make a tangle weave inside of there. And so that's what we're doing. I can't. Okay, 
So the next thing, if we want to do cheeks, a lot of times um, there'll be cheeks like right under the eyes. So we can try that out. I've never really done them. I'm just kind of doing them to see how cute they are um, if we embroider them. This is also scrap yarn that I had from a different project. So it's not exactly like the best match for this, but I don't care. Okay, so I'm going to find an off over to the side space. And I'm going to poke this out where I want it to go. So kind of here. Um, I might just go right back. So I kind of just went at uh, one over and one down. But I don't think I want to pull this yarn too tight. Is that cute? I can't decide. Oh, well, we're going with it. I'm just gonna tie this one off um, over here, uh, and then do the same thing on the other side. I guess I could do it all in one. Actually, I want to tie a knot here. I'm gonna cut the tail, and then I'm gonna kind of actually pull it through. Sorry, you get to hear me working all of this out in my own head. So, okay. oh, perfect. So I pulled it and it kind of popped in just a little bit. I don't know if I should have done it that way, but it is what it is. I'm going to pull this through the back. It is not perfect, but I think it's kind of cute. Um, because this doesn't really match, I am going to try to kind of covertly hide it. Like catch it under some of this but not not a whole lot okay hopefully that will stay okay all right what do you think i'm not gonna do eyelashes but you could i feel like i need to get more stuffing up here or round this out a little bit but um i think with a little playing around we can get there. All right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.